Welcome back to the stream, guys. Uh, if you're just tuning in, it is, and you're not aware, it is Axe versus Mystique right now. Um, and Axe is on the blue side, and the bands are already out. Uh, I am being joined by Loki. Your favorite casting duo is back. Loki, go ahead. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Pro League, day two of today. Right now, we've got a really interesting game going on here AX versus Mystique Gaming. Both of these teams have, um, you know, have played a lot in this tournament, and you know, Mystique, you know, uh, Mystique, sorry, is trying to, you know, recover from their loss against OG and Misfit. So this should be a pretty good game uh, going on here. Um, jumping right into the game, the blue team, we got the Malphite, Maokai, and Oriana bands coming out from the blue team. Uh, Vision, why do you think the why do you think the band two top laners and Oriana? Uh, Oriana, I mean, I'm expecting the Malphite Oriana to be something that, uh, you know, that uh, uh, the, you know, Mystique has practiced or at least they've, they've scouted them out. Because, you know, Malphite can unstoppable force and uh, that sets up Oriana's ult really well. So I, I'm guessing those are extremely targeted bans towards Purple Team. And um, the Maokai is just, I guess, a, a very irritating top laner, but there's a lot there's a lot of top lane focus being put in as you as you said, as you pointed out, uh, you know, from blue team. And uh, I just really quickly want to highlight Rek'Sai has not been banned and that I, I hope it's a Rek'Sai top lane. Um, I played against the Rek'Sai top lane a couple of um, a, a couple of days ago and he is extremely annoying to deal with, especially with his ult. It's just a free teleport. So I provided the portals are in the right uh, place and they're kept alive. It's a free teleport and it, it, it is really, really potent in the top lane. And uh, looking at, you know, Purple Team's bans, uh, Jace, I guess, is a, is a targeted ban, whereas Nar is, a, is, a, is particularly annoying to deal with in the top lane. I would see an Irelia. I mean, normally, uh, okay, no, now that Nar is banned, I'm not really sure what Purple Team is going to go for it. Um, Top. Kha'Zix being banned out. What, what do you think about that Kha'Zix ban? I mean, he's not he's not particularly uh, strong in the jungle. I, I have no idea why they would ban out Kha'Zix. I mean, he's not really strong in the jungle anymore unless you somehow get ahead and start building Ravenous Hydra or stuff like that. But yeah, he, he ever since the new jungle has been released, Kha'Zix kind of really fell very hard in the new jungle. He's just not able to be that um, bursty, isolated assassin that he used to be back in the old jungle. So that's kind of a weird ban coming out. I'm kind of surprised that, um, you know, they have like an, a le that they didn't ban out Riven. I mean, on the blue team, you have a guy named Go Riven XZ, and you have <laughs> Goku, who's basically known for his Riven. Like, you have two people who are like, um, Goku the, you know, probably being the best. Yeah, exactly. You have like R Goku being one of the best uh, Rivens in India, I'd uh, I'd say. So and uh, you know you still don't ban out Riven. So I'm you know at least expecting a Riven pick out of this blue team if uh, purple team doesn't steal it. So you know about that. And um, you know Colossus, I think he's probably gonna be picking Rumble or oh, Shivana maybe. I, I don't think I don't really think Shivana would be a good pick. I mean she does have good late game scaling and is a very good mega tank and can do a little bit of damage too but uh, i really don't think uh, he's probably gonna go with it i think i think uh, blue team would look for a lissandra right now uh, but i i i think purple team baited uh, blue team into that morgana pick i would have loved to see a Janna pick instead of a morgana pick because uh, when you look at purple team sure i mean that black shield on on the important member is going to stop a lot of cc but uh, as yeah, the Lissandra being hovered right now. But that that the moment the black shield is, um, you know, once it goes down on uh, on on the import on one of the members, you're gonna see why instantly alt any of the other um, the the other squishy ones. And as you said, Goku hovering over the ribbon, um, not stolen by purple team. Lissandra ribbon that would be um, this that would I would love to see a Lissandra being picked. Uh, Riven, either Riven or Irelia, they'd be fine. That means we'd see a Rek'Sai in the jungle. Uh, Dep, I don't think and we'd I see a Morgana it. jungle. I called it. Yep, called it. <laughs> GG. I mean, both pick. our calls worked out. Uh, as Lissandra and Riven being picked. Um, Lissandra, the reason it's very uh, potent in this... Um, the, the two reasons why I, I felt Lissandra would be picked, because A, Nar was not picked. And Nar is extremely, you know, he can he can deal with Lissandra to a certain amount. And now that Nar is banned out, um, Lissandra is pretty much gets free reign. 
And the the other thing is looking at all the CFC from Purple Team. The moment Vi is gonna ult, Lissandra can use her ult on herself or on another enemy, preferably Vi herself. So she's rendered useless, and that double Zonias, which we will see now that Lissandra's in the mid lane, we can see her rush her items much, much, much more faster than um, you know our top lane Lissandra would. I'm a little bit disappointed that that's not a it's not a top uh, top lane Rexai, but it's all right. Um, uh, you know, the jungle Rek'Sai is also one of the strongest picks right now. Vi, Vi and Rek'Sai. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. And Ari being picked um, by the purple team. She's she's a good champion. I mean, not the strongest mid laner in this meta. She is quite strong though. Uh, you know, the the mobility that she gets from her ultimate. Uh, where it, it just and you know that that one EQ can uh, or just a single Q will render Morgana's black shield uh, quite useless. So we, we should be looking at um, purple team. Purple team's comp. Uh, both teams have a really good rounded off composition. What what are your opinions on um, the, their team compositions? Well, you know they look like a pretty much a standard season three composition. Uh, they remind me of Coast Team Coast composition when Zion Spartan and Shifter used to play for them. Because um, uh, during season three, LeBlanc, uh, I think Faker and other Faker, Bjergsen, X Peke, and all the other famous mid laners have really exploited LeBlanc's power, and mm -hmm. um, that made Ari basically unviable in season three at all. She was completely useless. She had damage. She had very good mobility. She was. A very good champion indeed, but then due to the problems of LeBlanc being uh, such a high priority pick in the LCS, uh, she was she's like pretty much unplayable. So, but um, you know, ever since LeBlanc's been nerfed, we have seen Ari come back. But another problem I'd like to point out with um, Purple Team is is their AD carry choice is okay. It's the top lane choice. I'm really not so sure of because yeah, uh, yeah. season three we've always seen those Shivana Renekton Shivana top versus lane. Renekton. Shivana versus yeah, it's Renekton. Too, that was the big it's, reason. It's too standard. I mean, the meta's changing. You need to you need to play Maokai top. You need to play Nasus top. You need to play Cassidy top. You need to play you know uh, Lissandra top stuff stuff like that. And Rumble, Shivana is yeah, just yeah, it's just very outdated in my opinion. She is still good. Like there's no nerfs that have happened to her or stuff, but very outdated I'd say. And Colossus, you know, uh, he does. He has specialized in those um, outdated season three top laners like Renekton, Shivana, Irelia, Jax, and stuff. But then, uh, you know, it's season four. You've got to play like you know. Th th there's a reason why the season four top laners are very are stronger than the season three top laners, and you need to adapt to that. Whereas, uh, you know, playing a season three top laner in this game, I I'm not too sure about that. But yep, what's yep, um, interesting to me is, uh, what's interesting to me is, I'd like to see the matchup between Riven and Shivana because what, what I predict how this matchup is going to go is Riven probably from probably from levels 1 to 9 Riven should win but then after yep, 9 yep, I'm once, thinking once, that after 9 yeah, Shivana once Shivana gets, the gets the her power spike yeah pretty much i mean standard shivana matchup that you'd expect once she hits level 9 she gets a power spike the reason you saw shivana being picked a lot in was was when renekton was like a huge lane bully cuz shivana was the one per like he still is but when Re when renekton had that when when he was uh, pre uh, wait yeah pre nerf uh, when um, you know he, he, shivana would pretty much be the only person who could deal with that renekton top lane uh, once you know, start outscaling him once once she hits level nine. Not that Shivana scales uh, uh, like complete extremely well. You'd see a really good um, you know, AP is is m like nine out of ten times the better scaling than AD, uh, just due to the sheer ratios on the AP side. And um, I would I would have liked to see a Lissandra coming out from Purple Team just out just to deny. Uh, you know, not only just to deny that from Blue Team, but also to keep themselves you know. N uh, like almost bulletproof um, with their engages, but all right, that's that's what it is. Um, I guess purple team just choosing that, choosing I guess comfort over. Uh, I, I I can only say comfort because I have no idea why they why they picked uh, Shiva, uh, Shivana. Caitlyn, we've seen her played a couple of times. Uh, Double lift also being playing her. And, yeah, uh, and you know. Um, you know with the introduction of Graves into the ADC meta, it's a, it's pretty obvious that Caitlyn's gonna be there too. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And my client just randomly crashed. That's uh, okay. I'm um, just just reconnecting to the game in the meantime. 
Let's just speak about the lane matchups, uh, luckily. Um, so, uh, well, let's start with the uh, top lane. Uh, okay, now we've already spoken about top lane, so let's, let's yeah. go into the jungle matchup. Uh, Rek'Sai versus Vi. Rek'Sai's um, clear is extremely good. I, I've not played a lot of Rek'Sai in the jungle. I've just played uh, uh, three, four games uh, with him in the jungle. And um, his clear is really good. Uh, and Rek'Sai, is, once he gets, you know, once he hits six, you know, he could go, he could sit in top lane, gank, uh, and then instantly go bot and, you know, do two simultaneous really quick, uh, almost across the map ganks. So that's that's the strength in Rek'Sai's, um, you, even though his mobility is not so innate in the fact that he, he doesn't, he doesn't have like a, a dash or something that stands out. I mean, he does have his um, his burrow. The, when he's in his burrow, he can E and you make two portals and you go in. And but but once he hits six, like then you see Rexai really shining. And uh, you leave him untouched in a team fight, and um, he's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, you know, because he Rexai is normally like to build the whole Triforce and uh, go for the attack speed jungler item. I'm not um, really sure what the enchantment. Alright, uh, what time are you at? I'm on 0.30, Lokesh. Lokesh. Okay, can you go to 0, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43. Okay, no, 48, 49, 50. So, 5 seconds a little bit ahead. Yeah, I'm 52, 53, 54. 55. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's 59-1. One. We hit one minute, just uh, go, go a second extra. Right, so uh, looking at level 1s, uh, red team was looking to invade. They do put down wards, uh, both teams spotting their wards out. Um, and uh, now uh, pretty much Shivana just standing in the city, sorry, sit, yes, you know, standing in the mid lane. Uh, Vi going for the blue, um, I'd expect her to start Gromp and uh, Rek'Sai going for the red uh, due to his mana list. Uh, his, him not having, not having to use mana. Uh, so yeah, uh, jungler matchup. Um, Vi as uh, also gets her power spike at level six um, when she does gain the ability to you know uh, get a lot of distance in CC with her ultimate and two, two Qs. Uh, Morgana should be able to nullify that uh, down bot uh, with her black shield, but uh, Vi could instantly uh, shift focus, uh, knowing that Morgana is not that tanky uh, early into the stages. And um, we just, right now we're seeing, um, you know, the standard starts from the junglers, uh, pretty much. Uh, mid lane matchup, I, I really don't know. It's about, it's about who plays this out better. I would say Lissandra has the edge in this matchup, but it's, Ari can hey, also, it's, it's, I think it's a skill based matchup in the mid lane. What about, what are your yeah, thoughts Yeah, indeed, it's a very, it is a very skill based matchup. I mean, um. Both uh, champions have different power spikes. Well, similar power spikes, but at um, you know different levels. So, like uh, you know, it's, it's a mid mid lane matchup. It's kind of it's kind of fixed. Like whoever just plays it out better is gonna obviously win. It's hundred percent skill rain. And um, top lane, we do so, do we do have lots of engage. We do have a small, a very close fight going on in the top lane. Uh, well, we did yep, have uh... and both yeah. And now Colossus at level two first. He can go aggro under Riven, but instead he doesn't. He doesn't want to. He, no, actually, he is gonna go aggro on Riven. He could flash ignite, but no, he has taken the teleport. Oh, the, he has more... taken the teleport. Yep. Um, you know, uh, now that uh, Goku is at level two, what do you what, what do you think is uh, he levels up his uh, dash? Yeah, his dash. That's what I expected him to level up. That does give him the extra. Um, uh, I think to, I think know. he should have just leveled up W, flash W, and ho prayed for the kill. <laughs> I mean, you are a Riven, you know, you have that edge early game, and you need to kind of, uh, you know, you need you need to kind of stretch out on that edge over Shivana, and uh, you know, try and make her late game stay, try and make her late game shut down her late game scaling, because. There's not much you can do about her late game scaling, but if you can try and get uh, pr a pretty good lead, then you know it's always good. But yep. Goku taken down very low. Taking a lot of lane. damage right now, just trying to take down the you know the turrets. Looking at bot lane, okay, no, this uh, this top lane, this top lane. Yeah, and uh, one thing one now. thing I'd like to point out in this top lane is Colossus is very smart to take that door on shield, so it'll heal. As you can see, his health is um significantly way higher than Goku's because of that door on shield uh it's it gives a good health region and though, we have Rek'Sai um uh, he does uh, can he get this knock up and Hein is going down mid right now looking at top lane we have Colossus getting knocked up by uh by Rek'Sai's EQ incarnation should be able uh, I mean Colossus should be able to get away and he does and uh so does uh, uh Lone in the mid lane 
um, you know, pretty much both the gangs. Uh, however, Lone does burn his summoner. I don't think Shivana burnt any summoners in that. Uh, uh, she uh, not, uh, Shivana, uh, yeah, Shivana, I think, no, Shivana didn't burn any summoners, but now we have Highness getting caught out by Incarnation and can't duel, he will queue away, but Incarnation, the mobility of him alone is just, uh, you know, being able to chase down Vi, they could have turned on that because Highness still had his red buff, but instead they didn't, and now we have a very low Goku coming up against a very low Colossus, I mean, this is also kind of a matter of skill at the moment in the top lane, like, whoever plays their flash out better is gonna go, is gonna come out on top. And it's very uh, and crucial, but now Riven going, going very down. crucial. Oh. Colossus gets first blood, very good. And over in the bot lane, also we have a small engage, but nothing much happens except nothing for what's happening there. Just the oh, Rexai going down mid lands a charm. This is a Ignite this goes a out. He will get and the kill. Tons is. of damage. Very, very well played. And he gets a blue buff. Oh yeah, she, yeah, he gets a blue buff from that. 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 Did not work out well. Uh, <laughs> things going in favor of red team right now, both in the top lane as well as in the mid lane. Uh, uh, Ari just being given the blue, pretty much. Uh, I don't know what uh, what incarnation was thinking coming over that. I don't think Lissandra was ready. Um, Highness just lurking around mid lane right now, just looking to. Oh, tons of damage going in. Hits level six, but that was a beautiful route from Lissandra, uh, negating the the further uh, the follow up and. Uh, Rexai now looking to go up, looking to go mid, uh, and we we'll, we also see. Okay, Rexai does go mid. Oh, uh, Rexai in the up. mid forces a flash from tons of damage. Charm coming out by tons of damage. Here comes the claw from Lysander. Ignite will go down, and Incarnation will pick up the revenge kill. Beautifully executed on um, Incarnation's part. I mean, he did have a gank at mid. It didn't really go well. He comes back almost like not even not even two minutes after, and and ends up getting the kill. I mean, that's that's just very well played on Incarnation's yeah, part. Makes up for his mistake that he did earlier. And looking at top lane, uh, uh, Colossus does hit level six and can uh, use his ultimate right now. He won't. He should not force it, considering that there's a portal. Uh, Rexai, however, quite uh, quite far away from level six right now. Wait, I don't uh, know what Goku's doing. Goku just hit level six, although he's taking a little bit of damage. I did not know why Co why Colossus didn't use his dragon's dragon's crescent uh, earlier. He could have used it earlier and probably you know forced some more summoners or or sorry uh, for something out of Riven. But now we have a pause coming in. Uh, I do not know why. I don't think uh, anybody has disconnected from this game yet. Doesn't Probably. look like, um, yep, there's a laggy. It's just laggy for uh, IML, I'm sad right now. Um, uh, so looking at the game, Vi is hovering around bot lane and um, she is level 4 only. So you'd, you'd have to see Leona uh, landing all her um, CC on the right target pretty much. Uh, Leona not hitting level 6 as well. Um, incarnation though that that was he did make up for um, you know the earlier uh, failed gank and uh, does even though the the blue buff did not go over to Lissandra he still did uh, get it over from Ari and that's that's that does contribute to you know uh, keeping her down right now as you can see Lissandra leading in CS by um, by around 8 CS and uh, the biggest CS differential right now is uh, in bot lane. Um, with Graves losing out heavily to Caitlyn, as expected, you know, Graves' range is uh, much, much lesser than Caitlyn. And um, uh, surprisingly, uh, Goku out farming Shivana. I think Shivana has been too careless with her, with his, uh, he's, he's been too careless with his W, you know, just letting it hit, uh, proc on the minions over and over and missing a couple of CS. And, uh, and, Another much. pause coming out. Uh, one thing I'd like to know, uh, I'd like to state is Shivana. Uh, I don't really like Colossus's route here. Um, he's rushing a Sunfire Cape against a Riven, which is you know kind of the ideal build you would go for Shivana. But if he does rush that Sunfire Cape, uh, Riven, you know, Riven cannot really go tanky. He probably can probably get one tank item, but he cannot like build as tank as a Shivana. So you know he's definitely gonna need to go damage, and uh, you know even though Shivana is ahead. If Riven continues to build damage or probably get a brutalizer or something, he will come out top in the team fights. So there's only so much damage a Shivana can do um, yeah. as of now. So I would really, I, I, I thought Colossus was gonna go pick up a Cutlass or something, but instead yeah, he picks up a chain wrist. Oh, and in mid lane we have a small scrim. Charm being uh, dodged over there by Lissandra. Good play by, good footwork coming out by Lissandra. 
So, uh, you know, as, as long as you dodge the charm for Ori, I think you can probably manage with the burst. Uh, because the charm is probably one of the main thing. It amplifies the damage that Ari can pull out after the charm. So that's a really big uh, uh, skill shot you have to uh, dodge in order oh, to like, uh, successfully around, do. Uh, Rexa is just hovering around uh, the blue buff, trying to see if he can get uh, anything. And uh, uh, and he is I don't going think, after I don't the blue right so. now, uh, but it is gone. Okay, no, it is not. Uh, it's still there, but they've taken it into the bush. Um, you know, blue buff going over to Ari. She can she can definitely make uh, good use of that now that her ult is back up again. Um, Rexai still looking to make something happen mid lane, uh, and they they could possibly make it happen. He is spending a lot of time in this mid lane, uh, and just uh, looking right now at bot lane, some trading going on. Top lane, Colossus um, just forcing out uh, Riven, and. Um, I think blue team should hit level 6 first, which they do manage, uh, no, both AD carries hitting level 6. Uh, Morgana missing her binding and uh, nothing occurring from that. Uh, both both bot lanes hitting level 6. Right now we look at uh, top lane, Goku is trying to clear out the uh, pink ward and does successfully jump over. Um, and uh, Rek'Sai placing the portals really well and Incarnation is still hovering around mid lane and tons of damage playing. Quite safe now that uh, she's uh, noted the priority. Looking to roam top, however, in case um, you know Raven goes for the pink ward again. Uh, bot lane still Leona constantly looking to, to engage upon them, but that the, the her threat is significantly nullified by that black shield. Uh, Rexai, we should see him giving over the blue to Lissandra, which he does do right now. Um, and. Where do you think uh, Rexa is going to go after this? Uh, pretty much that. Yeah, I think goal. I think it's pretty obvious that he's going to try. You know, maybe try top lane. No, no, I don't no, think so. No, no, he's going for mid. Um, I think I think he's just kind of given up that you know top lane. You know, Riven lost to at least uh, to a uh, Shivana, and you know probably just going to let him suffer because he really hasn't showed his presence much in the top lane except for that fail gank in the early levels. So uh, I think you know mid lane has been actually working out for him pretty pretty well. I, I'd say because he's gone one for one in that mid lane and um, gotten his Lissandra back up after a crucial mistake he's made early on in the game. And um, yeah, that's why he's probably going to be focusing on this solo mid lane now and um, uh, try and get him ahead. One thing I really haven't seen from both these junglers is their presence as bot. I mean, they're just letting yeah. bot do their own thing. And usually usually in other games, it would be the other way around, whereas top would be like the only lane doing their own thing. Hey, and uh, bot, we, bot in mid is where we'd see like the most jungle pressure. But uh, I guess I guess this is kind of a uh, bit of a different game. Uh, we, we've been seeing a lot of ganks happening in top rather than um, bot. So uh, I think, one second, I, think I do. Yeah. Buddy left your channel. Vi has been, uh, she hasn't been that, uh, that, that uh, impactful as, uh, as, you know, Rek'Sai this game. Rek'Sai did, at least, even though he did get a, you know, his, his first gank down mid failed, he, he still has, um, you know, made it work out. Uh, Vi should be looking to go and uh, gank bot right now, but, you know, both, as, as Loki pointed out, both teams just leaving bot lane alone, and it's it's pretty much, you can also notice that when you Buddy, see the items, the items in bot lane, um, you know, yeah, both of them sitting on Doran's, uh, Doran's so, uh, what, um What happened was Ash disconnected from the game, and she's having net problems right now. They're asking if a sub can get on her ID and play. Yeah, alright. Alright. Okay. Buddy just, left your channel. Just some um, connection problems. Um, and uh, we might just see this game. Uh, you know. I think red team will will uh, will four v five until she's back. That that would be the expected course of action. They do not want to lose this game as they have already Buddy lost out to Misfits. Uh, I don't. I think we should see a four v five in case Ash. Um, you know, sorry, Aurora does not manage to connect back. Um, just sorting out some issues uh, right now. Okay then. Well, this this is awfully boring, Loki. Indeed, and uh, you know we don't know if Osh is gonna come back or not. Uh, speculations of the other team saying that they're gonna continue on with a four v five, but who knows? 
Gosh, we might be able to come back or so. We hope she we, we hope should. she does come back because I mean this game is probably gonna turn out to be really good. Um no team. Yeah indeed. Just... Uh you know actually Mystique has actually a good chance of winning here considering that top lane is gonna if Colossus can keep extending his lead, then top lane is gonna be pretty irrelevant in the team fight. So, you know, they actually have a good going here. If they can get the bot lane fit then that'll just be uh better. You know, and actually but... on the cake sort, yep. Yeah, just better icing on the cake, indeed. So, yeah. Um, but but you yeah, know, but looking, this... looking at red team's composition, I really really feel for their mid game because Caitlyn will take that dip, and she will not have the damage to back up that first dragon fight. Whereas uh, when you do look at uh, blue team's side, they do have the damage to back up that first, uh, the, you know, the first drag fight. You know, with Graves having a lot of burst and. Um, even though Rexai, Rexai, you know, Rexai does take a, a, a while to ramp up, I believe Lissandra should be finished with at least uh, one item uh, before that dragon fight. What do you think, what do you think um, Red Team should do about that first dragon fight? I, I, I feel that they should look for a pick now on bot. Yeah, the, indeed, the they should definitely, they, they really don't want to really fight a 5v5 dragon fight because that would pretty much make no sense given that the both of the compositions are... Um, you know they're kind of you know, they're kind of different in a way that uh, uh, red team uh, sorry blue team has the has the, has the damage advantage so um, yeah that's that um, coming over uh, what what they can actually do if if Leona can try and get the passive on to whoever Caitlyn is focusing then you know that can also help increase the damage by a bit or so and uh, it mm -hmm. depends upon the CC ultis that Leona can land if Leona can land a good three to four man ultimate then the fight should probably come in the favor of a red team but if she doesn't then you know it's gonna be obvious that blue team's gonna come out on top but um, yeah it all, it, it, we're still in the laning phase so we really need to see how this laning phase is gonna go because bot lane and mid lane are gonna really be playing a major factor in that uh, first dragon so whoever basically gets the kill or whoever plays the skirmish and bot lane better is probably gonna get the dragon yep yep that is that is true hmm and but otherwise uh, coming I, to this game it's actually been a slow paced game don't you think yeah I mean, exactly, we're at exactly nine minutes and 30 seconds and there's been totally of uh, three kills happening so you know we're going a very slow pace lcs type game here if you ask me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is extremely slow. Both teams being cautious. And we we do we do see incarnation coming out with the YOLO 420 ganks. Uh, just just uh, just incarnation things coming from the Wraith Wraith camp. And uh, I mean, even though that did not work out, uh, that th that was that was the only moment. And again, blue blue team taking a step back from that. Um, but I guess blue team is just more uh, they're, they're, they're they're faster to pull the trigger, uh, pretty much. And um, all right, the the uh, red team does look to resume right now. Um, they will play on four v five until um, until Aurora reconnects. And we do have the unpulse coming out. Rexa uh, hovering around mid lane does go unseen without any wards, but things coming down. Lissandra ults and gets the knock up, and that's a dead Ari kill going over to Lissandra right now. Um, but uh, Vi hovering around top lane. Uh, Oh, and Alti, Alti does and come out and Colossus will take the kill on to Goku. Beautiful play coming out from uh, Highness there. I mean, they realize their mid lane is gang down, so they go and focus on to the top top lane and take the tower. However, the um, you know knowing that it is a 4v5, uh, five, th four members sorry, of uh, blue team is going to group up for this free dragon and that will give them the extra buff and um, give them the advantage in a slight bit but uh, top lane tower not going just yet I guess it's probably gonna go now unless Riven is gonna you know uh, teleport back and he will use his teleport and get back that with the TMAT. That was a good decision, that was a very good decision by Goku because I mean I was, I was, I was completely expecting an LCS-esque trade you know top lane for Dragon and uh, and uh, you know but Vi is still hovering around uh, they, they really want to punish Goku This for is not good for Goku Yup, he is a very dead Riven That's right GG. now. That's GG. Flash out. used. He's gonna try and play this aggressively, but it's not gonna work. Probably not even gonna get an ulti there. Flash passive being broken. Another Colossus being flashed. The W will pick up the kill with the magic damage. And that was just, 
you know, Colossus with his inner top lane instincts. I mean, he does main that lane. He's been playing it for almost three to four seasons continuously. He knows how the top lane uh, meta works. I guess he's probably the direst of top lane in this community. Uh, he knows how the top lane works, and he played that out very well. 0-3 Riven at 11 minutes in, and that's going to be the tower. And uh, it should uh, put... Um, I uh, think it should he will put... take the tower. They they will they will take the tower. No no he's not gonna take the tower. He I think they should get it. Okay no wait the minion the minion line is coming up. No they will not get that. Okay um you know that that okay then <laughs> my uh, my thoughts about that just completely went uh, uh from one end of the spectrum to another too often because once it even died and um, the first time around. I was like, okay, this is going to be a trade-off. Then the red team did not push. I'm like, okay, Riven teleported in. That's good for blue team. But then Goku going and dying again. And then I'm like, okay, this is bad. They'll get the tower. And Kolos is not pushing it out hard enough. And XG Heinz is getting the snare on. I don't think this will mean anything. XG even... You know, going a little bit aggressive, ignite and stun being used on Highness. Meanwhile, I am Zed. Oh my you know, God, uh, having course. a duel with Jungly, but Highness will go down to the Morgana alone. And the collateral damage doing a little bit of damage, doing a lot of damage there onto Highness, but the kill will go in um, Morgana's favor. And uh, you know, I am Zed actually did a good job of trying to get in a duel with Jungly there. But you know, if he just played it a little bit more aggressively, then you know he it could have worked out. But now he has to sit in a one v two lane with these two. He can probably try harassing Jungly, but you know you always got Morgana there, and if a binding hits onto you, you're that's GG. <laughs> yeah, I mean not just that. It's it's a good thing that I'm alive. That did not go for that. Uh, they did have the pink ward, and he did spot in uh, incarnation. And now incarnation looking to go bot lane. Bot lane. Um, he and he probably will make this gank work out by uh, going again to the bot and pretty much blue team just abusing you know the lack of presence of Leona. XGIN is missing his Q and in top lane we see Goku again that tower will go down he needs to get out of there he is not going to be able to save this uh, or will he and nope he will not uh, Colossus can ult right now um, in case Yep, just Goku dying right there. Okay, no, uh, yep, dead. That, that was a Sunfire game picking up the kill. Um, blue team right now just taking over. Colossus uh, didn't even need the ult. You can just see how behind Riven is in this matchup. Yeah. I mean, he needed to get the early kills on Shivana, but now it is just way too late. Yep, and the jungly, uh, right now, Vi overextending a little bit. Uh, Rek'Sai coming in. Uh, the blue trinket being uh, used by uh, Graves, I don't know for what uh, reason. Oh, but Lissandra coming in from, the, from behind and Shivana does teleport, but a beautiful dark finding from Morgana stops uh, a very fed Colossus from coming into that team fight. Um, okay, and uh, they're still lurking. Uh, Lissandra is still lurking around everybody. I think Incarnation should back off here. Um, they might just be underestimating Colossus's damage and Colossus is looking to go aggressive on this Graves and uh, Rek'Sai does go in right now, does manage to land a knockout, Colossus ulting uh, and uh, yep, pretty much standard trade. Fire in the hole will take down, uh, no, no, sorry, sorry, <laughs> collateral <laughs> damage right. coming uh, out from... Oh, Riven, Riven teleporting down? What? <laughs> going aggressive on <laughs> the Caitlyn miss. I don't. I don't think he's gonna get it. I don't think he's gonna get it. Heal being used. No, he won't get it. GG <laughs> Goku failing on there? stream as the Riven. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well there? played. What just happened? <laughs> Goku. <man. laughs> No what? idea what he what was doing there, man. There? What? He missed his W. He ulted the wrong way. <laughs> Zero <laughs> 05 <laughs> Riven top lane. This is. <laughs> I just can't stop laughing. Oh, I see the guy. What just happened there? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he just went full Leroy Jenkins right there. Like. You, I could almost hear him going, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even know. <laughs> Goku clearly not being on form, losing to Shivana early, and then uh, that just happened. <laughs> trying to be the 420 blaze of his team and just. <laughs>
<laughs> no idea what he was doing at ball play. And, and in all of that, in all of the laughter, we have missed out. Leona is back into the game. Um, and uh, I don't even. That was, <laughs> okay, I, I, let's just, let's just not talk about that. <laughs> whoa, 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 now we have, well, we, now we know who's going to get awarded for the ILG Best Play Award. <laughs> yeah, we do. Okay, um, Red Team looking to contest this dragon. And, oh my god, Tons of Jam is missing a jump. Uh, but, uh, uh, also Beautiful getting... ulti coming out from uh, Lissandra. Now I am led Ze I am Zed and uh, tons of damage. The only people left. I am Zed getting dark binded and that's a double kill going for Jungle. And now Colossus is the f f next focus target. He could probably uh, turn around and try and get a few kills. Oh, he will go down. Two very low people of Colossus, Colossus Riven doing all he can. But here comes Incarnation and he will go down. GG. I have no idea what was that Ari. Very, very, played that fight very badly. Don't know what yeah, he was doing did. at all. Yeah, she did. That hit. Colossus was pretty much... I mean, man, after this game, his back is gonna be hurting from all that carrying. But, damn, you know, just, just if, if Ari had played that out better, I, I, I would have been forced to believe that that fight would have gone, uh, would have gone red team's way. But, uh, you know, the blue team not getting dragon. Um, and, uh... The Riven 052 does manage to pick up the assists. Uh, hopefully, now more she's worth more gold than a cannon minion. But Shivana <laughs> looking to go top again. Oh, gold than a cannon minion. GG. <laughs> I mean, Shots fired. I, it's 052, man. I mean, okay, uh, the, right now, uh, Aurora getting caught out, and that is a very dead Leona. Um, I am and I am Zed uh, should get out because uh, Blue Team is not. Uh, oh, and that's going to be the dragon, actually. Yeah, nope. that's gonna be the dragon. I don't even think Red Team realizes that the dragon is the dragon was still up. I think they were just like, oh, we played a team fight bad. Let's just go back to the lane and try and kill Riven again. <laughs> oh, and Riven actually making his way towards the towards the mid lane, but um, you know, Ari, good good spirit rush, I guess. That's is is that yeah. what the thing is called? Yeah, spirit rushing away. Three dashes of that uh, will go away and um, disengage Forcing that small the skirmish. Spirit, but, but, they, but she, but he does force the spirit up. Raven does uh, force the spirit rush out of Ari, and that won't be up uh, for another for another 80 seconds, a minute or so, and uh, that that will give um, you know blue team time to siege, which end up you know as you can see as I say that bot uh, bot lane turret going Shivana right now just I uh, just going hard. And oh, he actually the takes the blue buff and Dragon Crescent's away. Beautiful play coming from Colossus, stealing the blue buff of Incarnation. That's not good. That Atenic's gonna probably be a bit mad there that he's not getting a blue buff. And Colossus, beautifully done. Um, I don't really think that it was necessary for him to use his Dragon Crescent, Dragon's Crescent to get away. Crescent, he could have yeah. just stayed there and fight it. But no, he now sees Riven taking up the pink ward of his, and uh, will no, not even chasing him. Just gonna let him. Yep. Just gonna go and get the farm. Yep, I think much. I think Colossus pretty much knows that Riven is kind of useless now, and the only damage he can do is to the carries. But if Colossus peels that off well, then Riven is probably going to be useless because as the game progresses, Riven's damage is going to just decrease big time, and Colossus, but, but I think, uh, I think Colossus, Colossus is going to increase. Colossus is playing this out wrong. He is. He should be grouping with his team right now. Red team just looking very lost. Uh, Leona just zooming, just I guess trying to pick up the CS Rek'Sai. We do see him going bot lane, but for what? I do not know. Um, they do have wards to spot out Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai going, wandering in to the blue. This could end pretty... Oh my god, Incarnation getting caught out. So Incarnation the getting caught out. I think that's GG. Ace in the hole coming in. It'll be blocked, but tons of damage will get the kill. Meanwhile, Colossus teleporting down. Tons of damage and Exige Highness going very Exige aggressive Highness, on to oh go Riven for the, the collateral damage missing. misses. Solar Flare comes in. Here comes the Dragon's Crescent. That's one person. And now Colossus is going to be uh, chasing on to Jungly. The hey, passive F Caitlyn does hit, but Jungly, you know, running with his life, doesn't know what to do. He's going to dash away and put up a little bit of damage, but that's not going to do anything. Meanwhile, the mid lane, Lissandra is pushing for that in her turret, but I don't think she'll get that. And or but it's probably going to be a trade. Who knows? Right now, Raven is pushing top right now. I would like to. What I would have liked to see Lissandra do they, is go bot lane and try to stop some of the backs of uh, red team right now. So that Riven, you know, could, uh, could, could, uh, you know, go on her way and get that turret and at least, you know, help herself, uh, help himself become more relevant in this game. 
that would have been what I'd like to see. But uh, Lissandra does get that turret extremely low, and why not having her ultimate right now? Shivana is lurking around mid. Um, Goku oh, going now right it's now. gonna be a small skirmish. Goku getting caught out. Will Colossus but, chase for this? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. And uh, he knows his limits, uh, but I honestly feel. Um, Okay, he should he should group more, and we just saw as a result of him grouping. That was that was a that that skirmish went in favor of red team and uh, blue team looking looking for a pick. Uh, they their ward coverage. I am not so sure is that uh, that airtight right now. Just having one ward um, on the red side uh, and XG highness uh, does that that buff does get popped. Uh, not knowing what to clear right now, <laughs> he's just roaming around looking for the ward. And it does wear off. Um, so yeah, lots of things have happened, uh, and you know, more or less. Uh, but but the outcome of that was uh, Caitlyn does manage to pick up her kill, uh, and she does get the IE right now. And um, she's sitting on around 1,500 gold after that skirmish in bot lane. Should be looking to go for static shiv. Um, it'll be interesting to see what she builds right now. Uh, Colossus um, pretty much uh, max. Tank mode initiated, random in Zomin, Sunfire Cape, uh, and, nin and Ninja Tabi. That is three armor items just um, you know, just to deal with oh, the Oh, and Goku's right kind now. of far out again. Red buff on Colossus will be this, uh, will I get the slow on to Goku, but no, he Colossus is actually playing a pretty safely, so a uh, pretty safe, um, Shivana. Sorry, most Shivanas I know would have probably went full aggressive and tried to kill the Riven under tower, even because he's so tanky and uh, Riven like no armor penetration at all. Minus besides that brutalizer, I just caught out collateral damage will do a lot of damage, but it, the kill will go to Lissandra, and uh, that's just something uh, Mystique cannot make. I mean, they ha they were in favor of the game of. 10, 10 minutes ago, I guess, but now the game is just completely gone. I mean, they made good plays, but then if they keep getting caught out like this, then yeah, it's not really going to be just good. Need to, they just need to recuperate and, um, you know, just let go of the tier 2 turret. Just let it go. Yeah, I think uh, that's going to go no matter how hard they try. They could probably engage on that if Solar Flare would hit a few members, Shibana, but Shibana I don't is moving think up. it Shibana is moving up in lane right now, and this... Uh, uh, and oh my god, that that, that ace. Oh, ace in the hole will come in, but Black Shield. Uh, I don't think the Black Shield did anything. It was just like 10 HP off, and uh, no, that Lissandra was... just lives with a slither of health. Um, Lissandra. Okay, that was uh, more. Okay, no, I I could have sworn that was a flash blown, but uh, that uh, the Black Shield would not have done anything anyway because it only gets popped by physical magic damage. damage. Yeah. Uh, so physical damage does go through a black shield and Riven right now is just pushing top lane. Nobody dealing with a uh, uh, Shivana choosing to move bot. They okay, they do have a timer on the dragon, which is why they're there right now. But somebody has to go and deal with Goku and Ari just um, okay buying home guards. But that will be the turret and uh, blue team still getting what they need uh, right now. And and this I think I think tons of damage should go top lane. What is he doing? I have uh, yeah, no he's idea, going top lane. He could uh, potentially kill the Riven. Riven going if they wanted to, but Highness becoming the new focus here. Dragon will go to Shivana. He will take it. Colossus just sitting in there tanking. I am Zed, not even attacking. I don't know what he's doing right there. But Riven teleporting in, and uh, Colossus getting out with a slither of HP. Good, good, good tanking going on from him. But I don't know what Zed was doing. I mean, he was just very, very too. I think the Morgana was just uh, zoning him off completely from that fight, and he was not even a being able to auto attack that. So uh, yeah, that's just. That that's pretty that's pretty big coming out from the blue team here. I mean, uh, yep, they will take the inner turret of the mid lane and Goku trying to play aggressive. I don't know why, but here's tons of damage. Jason the hole will go in, but it doesn't do much. Meanwhile, tons of damage caught in the binding. Colossus trying to play aggro, but uh, Charm does hit. Heal being used. I am Zed will get the kill on the jungly. Goku in that brush over there, recalling. Uh, pretty pretty. Uh, no no no. Red team did have it warded, so they could have done it. But um, no, no, they, 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 had ward, they had a ward outside the brush. It didn't get them vision. Um, Are you oh. sure? I think that's yep, inside yep. the brush. No, no, no. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't inside the brush. I'm pretty sure. Oh, because well, uh, we we just felt like that because uh, because Riven was sitting in the brush as well. Right now, uh, red team grouping up, looking to see uh, this could be the first turret. Um, okay, sorry, this could be the, the third, third turret. turret. Yeah, third turret of the game. Oh, Colossus oh. going very aggro onto. Lissandra, the two members of Lissandra, very low. Okay. Shutdown will go to XG Highness, and 
uh, Incarnation being the person that's gonna run away from this. Meanwhile, Riven coming from the side, but he is a zero and five Riven. Nothing he can do. Charm missing. If that charm did land, they could have probably got the um, gone in. inner mid lane turret. Yeah, they could have gone in, but it didn't. So unfortunately, they can't. Yep, uh, red, red team just slowly climbing back, finally grouping together and taking advantage of their team comp, honestly. Uh, and Goku again missing the Q hop over the Baron pit, GG. Oh man, I, 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 even though, to, to, the, to his credit, right, even though Goku, I think, <laughs> he's, a, he's a bit rusty on the mechanics side, that was an extremely good teleport that came out from him. Um, when it, during that dragon fight, because not only did he manage to draw Ari to his uh, his side, but he also um, he also just just completely negated the effect of uh, Shivana being down there, and that was a good teleport. And he also has not lost his map awareness. Does spot Leona coming from that uh, from you know the red buff side, and backs away wisely. Uh, IML IMZ being given the uh, red buff, um, and both teams looking to group right now. Driven just. Goku is doing what he needs to do. He's just being an annoyance to Red Team right now, just trying to split as hard as he can, forcing somebody to deal with him, and Colossus is uh, is uh, up top lane. But uh, this, if Red Team should uh, look to make something happen, it is right now. Uh, I, I think they should go Siege bot, because that would be easily the most impact. You, you'd have Colossus uh, push, push up top quite quite a bit. And uh, then you could uh, then you could get Colossus to TP down bot, and Riven not having TP would be pretty much forced. If she'd be a sitting duck and a sitting duck in the top lane. Morgana and Vi uh, will meet, but nothing nothing amounting from that. Rexai sitting in the brush, looking to see if um, you know I would chase. And yep, just um, blue team looking to siege bot right now. Uh, and Lissandra also moving up, but red team does have a ward to spot her out. And uh, okay, this this could be a pretty big play for uh, red team if they manage to get the wards in the right place. Uh, they, Goku still has uh, still has a couple of seconds of cooldown left on that. I believe it is. Uh, he should have it in back in 25 seconds. So he does spot Colossus right now. Colossus does get that ward down really quickly. Um, and Colossus backing off. Uh, and Lissandra does go in. Oh, uh, Lissandra does going in. Hard. The charm done. Uh, EFG does land. Highness will pick up the kill. Uh, assault and battery being used on Jungly, but very good peeling coming from Incarnation. Now, tons of damage is a new focus. He will not go down, but uh, Aurora, Leona taking up the kill onto uh, Rekise. And now, Go Riven is the new target for Colossus. I don't know what he's doing. He should be focusing the AD carry. The binding does miss. Colossus could probably get the kill if he had the Cutlass, but no. And Jungly, meanwhile, trying to get Colossus as low as possible. But I don't think he wants to duel him, even though he's got the items and probably could duel uh, the Colossus. But no, he doesn't. Seven and two Colossus, and he's just been a major impact in this game. But uh, oh, but now Colossus we have tons of damage coming up. Will he try and kill Jungly? Yes, he can. But I don't think he will. And instead, he's just gonna take the farm and back away peacefully. Yep, yep. Not having his ultimate to back that up as well. Um. <coughs> and. Um... And you know that that team fight could have been played better. But what I what I what I did uh, notice was Ari was on no health. That that the by the time she got out, that was that was some clutch clutch uh, feeling. Why things going down on Vi right now? Um, a good warding from blue team coming out on the red side, looking to go for that top inhibitor turret would be my guess. Um, mo uh, pretty much all the lanes right now pushing. Incarnation does use his teleport and now he is uh, having the disadvantage. Goku can just get that push down and somebody's going to be have to force to deal with him and uh, not be a factor in a team fight. So red team should not look for team fights right now and instead should look to pressure out Goku himself. Um, Dragon up in uh, Dragon up in 15 seconds, red team should be moving right there, uh, but they are nowhere to be seen right now. I guess they're just too scared to venture out uh, based on that, uh, you know, the, the last team fight and their lack of teleport. And this should be an easy dragon for, uh, for blue team. Lissandra doing a lot of damage and like I said before, blue team is just quicker to pull the trigger. You just saw Lissandra going in and instantly ulting. Uh, Caitlyn without, you know, 
trusting in your team to follow uh, up. But now here's another fight. Colossus again. gets binding in, and here comes Goku right on the side, trying to get a flank going on, but that's not happening. I guess some miscommunication with Colossus going in, tanking five members or four members of the blue team, and now Highness going in like a retard. Don't know what he's doing, but he's gonna go down pretty fast. Goku actually picking up the kill now. He's gonna go aggressive. Goku, Ghostblade being used. That's a double kill going from a 0-5 driven, and now Ari looks like to be the new focus here. One more auto attack, I believe, and Goku will die, but no, he gets away from the E. Charm does go down, and that's an ace. Beautiful play that's coming from Lee Sandra ass. and Riven. That's a clean ass from Blue Team, and uh, I don't know. Very conflicting calls coming out of Red Team right now. They, they, I guess they're on tilt. I can't say anything else. Pretty much, they, they could have, they could have potentially made a comeback. Maybe 10 minutes, 10 minutes ago or so, but uh, incarnation very close to dying there. Um, that U Tower does do a lot of damage once it ramps up. Goku, the two, the zero, five, four, Riven managing to pick up two kills in that team fight. Um, Pings right now going down on Baron from Red Team. They, I guess they just expect him to do it, but. Uh, but that's not happening. That last team fight, that was just a poorly played team fight. Colossus does get the E. Lissandra does get caught out right now. Um, and Graves as well. <laughs> what are they doing? Highness missing his Q. And this just gave over Baron to Goku as well. Recalling this. They should they should take Baron right now. They, they should, should take Baron from this. Rexai. Caitlyn, Rexai Caitlyn is... can actually stand out the wall and auto attack, but instead he doesn't. But Rexai. Getting in good range, probably looking for a smite, might feel, smite steal. There's no other possible way. His teammates uh, wait, are completely wait, behind him. Tons already? of damage. Uh, now, Rex uh, Incarnation going in, taking out four members. That was not a good play. Now, uh, XG Highness has smite, while the red team, d blue team does not. A good bit land binding takes uh, Aurora to very low health. And here comes Riven ultying and trying to get um, damage on, but no, he doesn't. Trying Uses to the ghost and get trapped by, tra trap. by the trap. Yeah, that was just a very Goku. bad. That was just a very sloppy play on incarnation. I don't think he had vision on the on yeah, in the he Baron pit. So he, he did not. He did not. He did not have vision, and he had to tunnel in. That was the only. Uh, yeah. he, he he expected um it to be. That was a good bait coming out from Ari because she went um, aggressive, and that forced Rexai to think you know that uh, they were get the Baron was getting lower, whereas it was actually sitting on uh, just a little bit over half HP. So that was that was. A really good play from Ari coming out and right now they do have Baron so it's not yet over for uh, Red Team. It does look grim, uh, let's be honest, but um, but they can still make a comeback. I mean, Colossus is huge right now, 7-3-5, but uh, to combat that, you have Lissandra 8, 2 and 9 and Graves just being a huge threat. Now having self-peel as well with IE, but RK last whisper. And probably going to be a static completed on him by the next uh, pack. One thing, well. one thing I'd like to point out is Vi's build path is very confusing. Uh, yeah, Rangers, not anything. Rangers Trailblazer. Now, Rangers Trailblazer is kind of a useless item, I'd say. Uh, the most OP jungle item in the game is a Stalker's Blade, which is obvious and pretty much makes j champions like J4 and Vi at least a little viable in the jungle and getting a Rangers is just purely not needed. I mean, 20 plus, per, 20 plus gold for large monsters, it's not even worth it. Whereas a, a Trailblazer would help you set up ganks earlier and it would have been a much better choice. I don't yeah, know why he didn't go for plus, that. That additional gold is not Yeah, and then when you're, or... again, again, when you're 2 and 8 as Vi and you need a peel for your carries, I don't understand the Hex Drinker, probably because, you know, if he was doing good, he could probably gone for Hex Drinker and Phage. But uh, now, you know, he's really behind just because of those two items. I mean, those two items aren't helping him at all. And uh, he needs to, he, he should have finished his Randuins earlier. Not to mention the mobility boots for some other reason. Right now in bot lane, we do see Goku and Colossus trading quite heavily. Goku just waiting for his cooldowns to be back. Cup does get the stun. Colossus doing a lot of damage. Both of them backing off right now. And Goku should not go for this trade considering that they do have the Baron buffed up. And uh, does land a charm. 
The solar flare catches only one member, Aro. Uh, Lari will take down the Sandra, but in the meanwhile, Highness will go down. Collateral damage doing a lot of damage. They could fight Jungly, but instead they don't. Jungly doing a lot of damage. That's a double kill going for him. He will take Caitlyn, but here comes Colossus. Ari right should come now. back and join uh, Colossus in this, but no, instead he won't. He doesn't have the Dragon's percentage. This is just free damage coming out from Jungly. There's no, I have no idea why Colossus is going in, but he does get the shutdown now. Riven is the new focus. He's barely staying alive and Incarnation will steal that kill. Wow, what a sloppy team fight from both teams. I don't even, I don't even know what just happened down there. It was just one, like, like I, I guess, Goku, Goku and, um, again, Ari is just unable to, to you know, when once it's clutch time, she, he's just not able to pull it out, uh, you know, the, 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 the plays. So, so, right now Raven just lurking on board, just uh, trying to see, I, I expect her to go in wood, considering Lissandra is showing bot, but um, Ari does have the level advantage right now on Lissandra and uh, is choosing to back off, uh, ooh, okay, Lissandra, Lissandra does go for the W. Rexai moving in for Dragon now uh, and it's... Oh, meanwhile, tons Rexai of damage and Lone taking a duel over in the bot lane. Lone flashing in and will take the shutdown on to Ari. Good play. I don't... I think the flash was quite unnecessary, but that was overall a good play coming up from Tinek. Pretty much blue team pulling the trigger when it matters. Just not Pretty being much. hesitant. You know, we, we saw this quite a lot in Team Mystique. They, they were slow to group up and they were very, very... You know, they just, they were just hesitant to, you know, to, to make these plays and it counted. They had a very laid back sort of approach to games where they just try and choke out enemies. Quite, uh, quite similar to how CJ Blaze played out that uh, whole season. And this is very reminiscent of how CJ Blaze lost to MVP where, um, you know, MVP Ozone just took over with their aggressive plays. Dade showing this is Zed in that game and Jungly right oh, now. Oh, and now it's Zed versus Jungly, but no, Caitlyn does not want to fight that. Even though Caitlyn, I, I think Caitlyn would have. Oh, no, 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 Caitlyn no, no, Caitlyn would not that. have come out, out top yeah. at that rate. There is no way that you're gonna be able to beat a, this Graves right now. Um, you know, uh, at, at, a, at a, a close range fight. A Colossus being caught out, a lot of damage going down on him. And, uh, oh, but he does manage to W out. Uh, Goku catching out um, Leona. Leona flashing over. Lots of flashes being Goku burned. Goku using and, uh, his Ghost Blade, but that's going to be pretty useless, in my opinion. I mean, the Ghost Blade yeah, is on a short useless. enough cooldown. Uh, it's not like it's it's as big as a cooldown of Flash. And right now, just getting the inhibitor. I am L, I am Z. Okay. Uh, Arnus does, does not down. know what he's doing here. Just Q's away. I mean. Uh, it's just, this just been this this game could have gone in red team's favor, but then they had the Leona DC, and even even with the Leona DC, I wouldn't say that that impacted the game much. I mean, they could have fought the four v four at Dragon uh, a bit better if Ari like I, when, when, yeah, you, Ari, you, when you have all a, on Ari, man. She, she yeah, that was all on Ari. Charm. She should have she should have landed her charm. She just needs to land her skill shots, and then they're gonna win. But tons of damage has right now, Goku, uh, you Goku know. is in a very precarious position. Both Goku and uh, Morgana. Uh, Morgana does use the spell thieves, uh, 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 you know, to escape that uh, situation. Sorry, Frost Queen's claim, um, and Goku pings going down on Goku right now. Uh, Rexa is pushing top lane, and Vi does queue over. Ayn has uh, caught it out, but will he use the assault and battery? Yes, he does. He doesn't have his teammates to help and clear him out. Ghost Blade will be used. Randuin's also. The queue will not Missing connect, obviously. And now. Goku is gonna probably try and turn this one around. Ultimate being used, Flash, and he will go down. That's Goku has to go down here. There is no other way. But no, Incarnation is there, and a good ulti coming down from um, uh, Lissandra and Jungly just staying in that bat line, able to auto attack. That's a double kill coming from Jungly, and that was just a beautiful bait. Beautiful bait coming GG. in from Red Team, GG. Blue Team. That will be GG. That is no way Colossus. Despite 69k to 60k. <laughs> the irony of that number coming up in blue teams, um, yeah, blue teams of really economic not. value. But that's gonna be the Nexus turret. About 40 minutes and Colossus very tanky. Colossus Can't even take him down. But Incarnation will go down. Man, and at 39 minutes 40 seconds, that's it, guys. GG. AX versus uh, Mystique. Mystique. AX does take the victory of 11k gold lead. Yep.